Welcome back. Today I'm going to be drawing Princess Peach from the Mario Brothers. So let's get started. I'm first going to start with an oval shape. And then I'm just going to fill that in. And I'm going to add a curved line just there for her eyelash. I'm going to move over slightly and I'm going to add another oval right here. And again, similar to the curved line, we're going to just add that there for her eyelash. Moving down in the center here, I'm going to add a slightly diagonal line uh, and then I'm going to add a curved line underneath for her mouth. Now let's come to the side and make the shape for her face. So I'm going to come down along the side of her eye here and then a diagonal in toward the center of her face. And it's going to be kind of rounded shape here all the way through. And we're going to stop about here. At this point, what I'm going to do is add a circle for her earring. And while we're at it, we can put a circle on this side. It's kind of like a half circle because it goes behind her, her face on this side. All right, continuing up on this side, curve line around for her ear. And now I'm gonna add the shape for her hair. So I'm gonna start here and bring a curve line up, curve line all the way through into the center and up, and then rounding it out on this side curve line down, touching the side of where we left off on her face here to a point, bring it back in kind of like a zigzag, another one here, zigzag and we'll round this all the way up, kind of like a, almost like a curve line up, kind of like a letter M, same on this side, bring it all the way through, kind of a swooping wavy line, and then we'll just meet it down here with a series of zigzag lines. So one there and another one here and just kind of bring it back into the ear shape. So at the top of her head, she's going to be having a crown. So we'll make a center kind of, this is the center I'm going to draw to start. We're going to draw a kind of oval shape here for a ruby. And then on this side, we'll make another oval shape. And also on this side, which we won't see all that much of, I'm just gonna kind of make a half curved line there or half circle. And then I'm gonna add a vertical line and one, two, three diagonal so far, four and back into this ruby here. And we'll extend it just down along the side. So that'll be the crown. And we'll come back and we'll add color to that after and we'll make that really um, stand out and really cool looking. So let's come down along um, below her earring here and make her sleeve. So this is just generally going to be a circular shape. And then I'm going to come to a little off the center here and make a curved line around. That'll be for uh, kind of her body here, bring a line across. And now I'm going to add her arm because I want to kind of have that overlapping. So we're going to start about here and bring down two diagonal lines. And then a slanted line this way. And then I'm going to make the shape for her glove, which is going to be kind of a line that curves in and back out for her thumb. And then we'll come in slightly. We're going to make a rounded curve line here for her hand, taper it in toward the wrist there, it's slightly thinner, and then just meet it back up to kind of where the, the opening of the glove would be. Curve line here for her belt, and I wanna stop there because I wanna add her other arm going up in this direction here. So it's gonna be a curve line for her thumb, slanted line up just along the side here, and we'll make a curved line around, another curved line here for her opening of her glove. And this is just uh, kind of overlapped. This area is overlapped, so this is the other side of her glove, which we're not gonna see that much. It's just gonna be a line that vertic uh, kind of vertically, diagonally slants up. This is the arm area here, and I'm gonna add her sleeve, which is similar to this shape here. Um, so I'm gonna kind of curve it around and just meet it in toward her body here. In the center, we're gonna give her a ruby shape. So I'm gonna add an oval and then another
another kind of outline for that oval there. All right, let's add her neck. So we'll just add a line that curves up like this. All right, coming down to her elaborate dress, we're going to start here at her arm and bring her curve line all the way around and stop. And bring this across slightly and then align up. And we're just gonna continue this pattern. So another bump line here and bring this line up. And then the center is gonna be a larger curved area here. We're gonna bring a line that curves up again here. And then to finish her dress on the other side, I'm gonna start from where the glove is, bringing this line down and out, and then just meeting it back in toward this center pleat. I would like to just finish her hair by adding a little hair that kind of comes along down the side of her here. So we're just gonna add a wavy line, you can add some zigzags if you would like, you don't have to, and just bring it back into the side of her dress. And I'm gonna add a detail for her ear here. And that is going to be uh, the drawing portion for Princess Peach. I'm gonna continue just um, closing off some sections or adding some detail lines um, like that. I'm gonna add a little bit of a raised area here for her hair. Okay, let's add some color to Princess Peach. I'm first gonna start with a peach color. So I'm gonna add this for her skin. Going around our outlined area. And this peach I'm gonna use for any skin tone that we see. So it's gonna be her face going around the eyes. Again, just being really careful to outline those areas. We're going around the outlining because I don't want the, the black marker to smear into the lighter peach color. It's also going to be for this section on her arm that we can see right above her glove opening on both sides. Okay, now I'm going to go into a light pink color. And I'm going to start to fill in her dress from the bottom with the broad tip of the marker. Just making a broad stroke going all the way up. And filling in the space. Then I can come back and just add any details or kind of fill in the space with a thinner marker. And I'm gonna use this for her sleeves as well. So this pink color is gonna be for her dress in general. It's basically the color of her, her whole dress. And sleeve on the other side here and I'll just Kind of shape that out so we're adding color there. And now I'm going to open up the thinner parts of this marker and just go back and fill in some of the space that I couldn't get to with the broader uh, side of the marker. So all these little areas here, these little detailed areas are these smaller openings. I use the broader part of the marker just to save a little bit of time while I'm adding color. If uh, you only have the, the thinner tip of the marker, that's really completely fine. Because um, again, all the broader tip does is just saves a little bit of time in a larger space or a larger area there where you can really fill in that color. Okay, I'm 
also going to use this for um, the ruby on the top and I'm going to leave a little highlight on the ruby as well. Okay, now I'm going to go into a <clears throat> bit of a darker pink color. It's called Mulberry in my Prisma color set and fill in her belt color. I'm also going to fill in the center of her mouth here. And I'm also going to make kind of this overlap color for the bottom portion of her dress. Just to kind of give it a little bit of contrast and variation. And I'm going to fill that in with the mulberry color by just using the broad tip of the marker again and just laying a little bit of overlap with that color. So this is a really cool technique called layering. If we use a lighter color underneath and just go over it with a uh, slightly different value, it adds a bit of contrast to our work and really makes it stand out quite nicely. And now I'm going to go into a blue and I'm going to add color for her earrings leaving a little bit of highlight in that area there. And we're gonna do the center ruby, again, a little bit of highlight, and also her earring on the far side of her face. Let's fill in the rubies on her crown as well with this blue, adds a bit of contrast. And now I'm gonna go into a yellow, and I'm gonna to start to outline her hair first and then fill it in with the broader part of the marker so we can fill in that space a little quicker. Going around the outlined area. Princess Peach is a really fun uh, character in the Mario Brothers uh, saga. Um, it's always been such a classic game. I've played it when I was a kid, and I know it's still super popular um, in the new generations here. So hopefully you guys really enjoy this drawing and uh, draw along with me. I really like drawing the Mario characters. They're super creative and just fun to, to draw. They have so much um, character and um, just different details and creativity that come along with all of the characters. Okay, and this is also going to be for uh, her crown. And I'm going to open up the broader part in a second. I actually want to fill in this area around her blue ruby in the center of her dress. Okay, now opening up the broader part of the yellow and just filling in the space for her hair. final touch I just want to add a kind of mulberry color that comes across her crown to separate the top from the bottom in between the rubies so I hope you guys really enjoyed drawing Princess Peach with me and give her a try she's so much fun to draw have a great day bye